Dr. Lilinio. Mr. Chairman, sir, Social Service Office, or SSO, has been doing a good job assisting residents in need. They give better accessibility and faster delivery of assistance to many residents. May I ask MSF whether SSO will be fine-tuned further to serve residents even better? What kind of achievements has been attained by SSO since its inception in helping families in need? How many households has SSO helped thus far? Is there a KPI to measure its outreach and effectiveness? How is SSO collaborating with other ministries, agencies, and the community partners for a concerted effort in tapping resources to assist such families? Could MSF expand assistance to give permanent solutions to families in need by providing last mile outreach and care? I beseech MSF to spend no effort in assisting our less advantaged families, especially those with children. These families need the concerted efforts of MSF to get out of their predicaments and have a more level playing field for their children. I've raised this issue and the provision of holistic care for these less advantaged families in this house repeatedly in the past, and I seek your indulgence for repeating it again today. Could MSF take a holistic approach in helping these families? Most of the time, these families have a slew of needs, as in housing, income, care for children, or care for sick family members, and so on. They are usually families with low skills, low paying jobs, and some are single income families. There is just an urgency to assist this group of needy Singaporeans with more lasting solutions. While they need immediate cash assistance to tide them over, it is more important that they acquire long term capabilities so that they are able to sustain themselves. Just giving them Comcare financial assistance will not be able to achieve this aim. Their needs have to be looked into holistically in order to lift up the family as a whole. Therefore, equipping parents with skills and finding them employment or assisting their spouses to move away from prejudices and mental barriers to employment can be useful. Their housing needs may need urgent fixing. Their children should be assisted in terms of well-being, health and education. More social workers and MSF staff are required to undertake such a hands-on personalised approach to solve the various needs of each family by going the last mile in outreach and care. MSL will need to liaise with various ministries and other relevant agencies and VWOs to give permanent solutions. Most times, many of their issues cannot be solved overnight, so these families have to be assisted with continuing follow-up. Only with such last-mile approach can the needy families achieve sustained and long-term benefits. We need to adopt this policy urgently to leave this group so that the following generation will not be in the same predicaments as their parents. In other words, let us give them a better chance of climbing up the social ladder. Extra effort and last mile approach must be put in to solve their difficulties by looking for the root causes of their predicament and working out the long-term solutions with the families. May I request MSF to prioritize assisting the most urgent cases quickly by having a register with data about them. With better use of IT, MSF can have faster and better targeted assistance and better follow-up for long-term solutions.